Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew. Daily events worldwide, and we are on November 14th, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the volcano activity and as well planetary positions report for now week 46, 2021. So we'll be giving you an update on all of the volcanic activity around our planet and as well the positions of all of the planets in our solar system right now. And right now we've got Mercury and Mars opposite the sun and us right now. And as well, Venus closing in for a retrograde coming up in December into January. We are out of the conjunction with Uranus, Uranus. But interesting, in this next couple months into January, we're going to have a retrograde Venus and Mercury all in one retrograde with Earth. Giving you a close look here of all of the planets and where they are right now. A nice conjunction here with Uranus, Earth, and Mars. We'll speed up time a bit here and show you Venus closing in behind here for a retrograde coming up in December into January. And then we will be left away from the three largest gas giants in our solar system for the long months of winter. But look at this right into January, the middle of January here towards the end, we're going to see the retrograde with Venus and Mercury. So definitely going to see an uptick in seismicity through January 2022 towards the end. Give you a quick update around the world here. Smithsonian Institution reporting still 48 volcanoes, but they have not updated since October 15th, 2021. We are now November 14th, waiting for the next update, but I'm still counting 48 volcanoes across the planet right now. This link is in the description below. You can check out for yourselves. But we are still almost double the amount of average active and erupting volcanoes, which is around 20 to 25. Having a look around the planet, thanks to Volcano Discovery, we're going to start out here in Mexico with Popo. Down into Guatemala here with Santiaguito and Fuego. Daily updates coming out of Fuego. Talica Volcano, Masaya. Moving down into South America here with the Nevadas de Ruiz. Raventador and Sangay Volcano. Moving further south here, seen a few earthquakes here the last 24 hours towards Peru. Sabancaya Volcano in Peru. Nevadas de Chilean and as well Villarica, both in Chile. And of course, we have the active and still erupting La Palma volcano. And just looking at here, we did have a couple sizable earthquakes to report today. South and east of the volcanic eruption, 4.5 and a 4.6. So that's an ongoing eruption and has been since middle of September, if not early September. Over into Africa now with the Niragongo volcano, Nirimiragira volcano, and as well, Old Doinyo Langel volcano. A couple notables there through Africa, Madagascar, also Erta Ale, Shield volcano. And then we've seen some eruptions at Etna and as well Stromboli. Collapse of the crater, and as well, dead animals were found. Evacuations were ordered at the volcano volcano. 
which is right in between Etna and Stromboli. Can't forget about Iceland as Fagradis Folly is still... Lava overflowed the dam and as well a few fissures have still softened up the area. Down into Indonesia here with the Kerinci Volcano and Krakatawa. And not Krakatoa, Marapi, Semeru, and Luwatolo. Moving into North Indonesia here, Ibu and Dokono, and as well Karangatang. Kanlon Volcano showing signs of unrest, as in, and as well Tal Volcano. SO2 emissions have been rising over the past couple weeks. Swiss Najima Volcano in Japan, Sekirajima, and as well the Aso Volcano, still ongoing eruption there. Nishinashima, still a large new volcanic island that is forming. Ebiko Volcano up into Kamchatka, Karamiski, and as well Shivalich. Through the Aleutian Islands here, Semisnapochnoi, the Great Sitkin, and as well Pavlov towards Alaska. And ongoing eruption here at Kilauea Volcano, still filling up its crater. Having a quick look here at the last 48 hours, or sorry, last 24 hours of imagery. So still filling up every so often. An active lava lake. And down into Papua New Guinea now. Where we have the Manam and as well Kadavor. Langila. And Bagana. And through Fiji here, Yasser. And as well, still notable here, the White Island Volcano, New Zealand. Showing signs of unrest. And then we have the mighty Erubus, the one and only that we know of, erupting volcano in Antarctica. Also wanted to note out the Michael Volcano through the South Sandwich Islands. As that is showing signs of unrest and it has been for a while. But recently we've seen some pretty sizable earthquakes through the region over the last seven days. Just pointing this out here. This is right in the middle of the South Sandwich Islands, the Michael Volcano showing signs of unrest and has been for quite some time. Strato Volcano, a thermal anomaly in the summit crater back in November 9, 2020. And seeing all these earthquakes all around it, a little bit concerning, and I'm actually surprised that there hasn't been more eruptions through the area, but that would make 49 volcanoes around the world that are active and erupting. And it is showing through our SO2 levels and CO2 levels as well as they do produce carbon. Having a look here, the last seven days around the world for earthquakes, all major 4.0 and greater. Null school, looking at SO2 models across North America, geothermal anomaly there in Manitoba, Lots of SO2 coming out of BC and Alberta and down into the New Madrid. This is a site that everybody can visit, a null school. Look at the SO2 coming out of China and India where almost a third of the population of the world lives, of course, we've got the highest concentration of CO2 and SO2. But it's not to mention all of the volcanoes that are erupting. Having a look here at Windy, showing the forecast SO2 models over the next three days. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and this is quite a large layer of SO2 cloud. I've re I report these every one to two weeks and you'll see a big difference between last week's and this week's 
SO2 levels have been increasing and we're getting increased cloud cover across the northern hemisphere. And that's evident with even the leaves that are changing or not changing. Having a look at SO2 models across Africa, big plumes still coming out of La Palma, Indonesia, and as well Asia and over into India, Saudi Arabia. Give you compared to CO2 models, tell me if you see anything that's uh, coincidental. I want to thank everybody for watching today. This has been Mike with Morning Dew. This has been the Volcanic Activity Report and as well Planetary Positionings. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning dew. Bye-bye now. Please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world. 